Hey guys, this is your girl Miss Patu Loka and I am so thrilled to say welcome to my channel. I am so excited to see you guys yet again um, listening to all the positives and just like I was going to tell you guys remember that you were born to sparkle. So let's get into this video. This video is about the power of intentions and I'm like whoa girl you all up in this positivity positivity. Yes, I am. So okay. The power of intention is basically the reasoning or the, well, if intent, your intent of why you say and do things for the reason you say and do things. So like, if my intentions is to reach a lot of you guys and help you guys discover things that I've discovered to make it, you know, say, hey, you know what? I had a rough day. And my intent is to basically help people because it's in a positive intention and that was my actual goal. I don't really care how many numbers it gets or w whether it's not. It's just for those people who's going through it, they're like, man, you know, I caught her channel and I caught that video. This was an amazing video. Then I completed my, what I wanted. Now, if I'm coming from a negative point of view where the intent is, okay, I'm going to say whatever I got to say. I'm going to make it sound all good because I just need my channel. I just need my that subscription. I just need the numbers. Then because that was the intent, I shouldn't be shocked if it's just like not doing well like it's supposed to. Because we're all a ball of energy, whether we want to believe it or not. And we're all, we all are, well, basically we're magnets. Whatever you put out is what you're going to get back in. Whatever you give out is what you're going to get back in. But you got to remember with intention, if I'm doing something good for someone else, I shouldn't be expecting for them to be like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. You did an amazing thing. And no, my if it came out of the goodness of my heart and my main goal was I just wanted to help somebody, then that in itself is where you get the actual absolute gift from. And because of that, in turn, because you had no expectancy, you wasn't expecting to get a payoff from being or doing something from your intentions out of nowhere it's like you know what that person deserves brownie points and you get yes what's gonna happen you're gonna get brownie points it could be anything it could be something as little as man I've been working this crappy job and you know out of nowhere an opening happens for you someone says you know what this person's been working this position why not give it to them well they don't have the experience no they should give it to them or having something like, I went to the grocery store with my mom, and what made me have an amazing, what kicked off that day, because my mom usually takes forever, like seven hours at the groceries, because, you know, she's going from one place to the next, so it's kind of like helping her run her errands, I feel like, ah, why? But the uh, what kind of made my day feel more like, you know, what's not that bad, was when my, when, when we got to the door, at Aldi's, because that was my first time getting her there, because she talked mad smack. And I was like, girl, you don't know. You haven't been there. They got the best produce, the best everything. And so I took her to Aldi's. And before we can get into the entrance, this couple was like, hey, this person did a kind gesture by giving me this card. I figured I'll pay it for it by giving it to you. And I was like, you know, it just brightened my day. made me realize, you know, today's going to be a good day. I, I know I'm going to be out for eight hours. I know my mom's going to keep me out here until midnight, even though we left at 12 o'clock this afternoon. But the great thing is I, sh I have to look at it as, hey, look, the pros in this situation is at least I have a mother that's healthy, that's living. Yes, this is kind of annoying because there's so many things I could do in a day and she's taking up my day. But what better way to spend a, a day like a weekend that I don't do every other week. I do every other weekend, but to spend it with my mom, build memories in my memory bank. So that's the thing. Now, if I'm doing something good, expecting something out of it, then, you know, that or that energy is just going to, it's just going to do the same thing, except the complete opposite of what I just said. So if I'm doing, looking out for somebody, when in reality it's actually looking out for myself, then it's not going to, it, all I'm doing is setting myself up where the world, the universe, the energy is going to keep constantly attracting the BS that I'm getting. How you can unlock that and get what you actually want. Get the, get that, um, the way you can 
the way you can very basically flip that like if you're a person who's really selfish and it's all about you 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 and you feel like man i'm doing something so i'm expecting to get something out of it the best way to get that to happen for you is basically to do something without the expectancy so so what i opened a door i held a door for someone and they didn't say thank you i still did the right thing okay i see someone that i'm like you know what i like your smile you have a great smile you never know what's going on in that person's life that person's day you can actually be that angel on earth by being a better individual and that all starts with the, the power of your reasoning of doing and saying what you say like if i'm going to say something to someone it's i got the first thing that comes to mind is is it going to improve them or is it bashing them because there's a difference now yes I make jokes and I say things and stuff like that but in reality when I'm speaking to someone that's really needing some some advice I'm not I'm not gonna do all that I'm not you know I, I do understand that they have feelings I don't know what place they are in their lives so something that I might think is a joke may be that one final nail in the coffin that makes them feel like damn you know I already from level 1 to 10 I was already at a 10 and this this just said what she said so it just knocked me out to zero I would never want to have anyone ever think and feel that way especially because I was the person who did it so anytime when offering anything to someone I always ask and think is it gonna hinder them or make them better and then it's the power of the intentions of okay I'm looking out for them because I love them so because I love them and because I'm making it my business to look out for them to speak on it to say something about it the main thing I have to be the main thing I have to take under to account is each person there's a way you have to adjust them there's a way you have to talk to them so one person you could be militant like man you know you've been on bullshit you need to change your life you need to get shit together they're like yes 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 you're right yes I could do it you can't do that with somebody who's super sensitive you're gonna make them want to just jump over a bridge so be mindful of is it making it the situation better or not and if by saying it's gonna make the situation better understand the person that you're speaking with and deliver in a way where it's coming from a loving place and not from a, I'm cutting you down bitch place so that is my video on the power of intent and uh, so I thank you so much for watching and subscribing to my channel and liking because remember sharing is caring now if at any point you would like to see anything on my channel please feel free to definitely hit me up everything you need to know and everything you need to find me is in the description box down below and uh, please please like the model says for the get inside me show that's coming back this July when life gives you lemons make a strong lemon margarita Thank you guys for watching, and I love you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.